but it's, you know, since it's incumbent upon organic capital, it's going to top out pretty quick. But the deal is, what I'm trying to teach you is if you do that, you can build something that will provide you living income faster while you work on your online dreams. Does that mean? You know, everyone seems to have a problem with hiring. How to do it. Who should I hire? Who should? All right. So we're going to start with employees first. And this isn't some Bernie Sanders rah-rah stuff. This is you get the right team together. This is a lot of money in your pocket stuff. Now, how do you hire your first employee? We're going to talk about that and a lot more in this video. Be sure to get your free 19 business courses. First link below at Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills dot com. Who knows? You get started, you get busy today, you could be sitting on some money as soon as this weekend. All for free. All right, let's hire that first employee. The sum that I am going through with not one, not two, not three, but five clients right now. And it's a struggle because people are afraid. I myself have an ad up on Craigslist looking for an employee. I'll probably do a brief video, let y'all see what it looks like. But essentially, you have to forget about you. See, this is the thing. When you're motivated by pain, when you're motivated by hustle, when you're motivated by being broke, that's a lot of energy and it can get you far. You can build a six-figure million-dollar company with that energy. But you're not going to maintain it or keep it with that same mindset. You're going to have to go from igniter to manager and that's a hard journey and most people won't make it. You'll have to hire somebody, which is cool. You own the asset. Don't worry about it. But you have to think of the employee first, and this is why. Your employees are the bridge between you and your customers. Now, I have one really good employee who is a bridge to me in a certain segment of customers, not everybody. She does a good job. Now I am looking for not one, not two, but three more people to do something similar. Now, I'm going to take you through my hiring process on the surface here on YouTube and for those who are in premium sellers I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing you'll get to see the interviews because part of this process and I'm letting people know that you have to be on camera and I had a strange email from someone who didn't even read the instructions was like, well, I don't want to be on camera when that's part of the job. Just to show you what comprehension skills are like these days. But she was like, I don't want to be on camera. I was like, well, you won't get hired. But hiring is rough. And it's also a skill set. And the rougher it is, and I will admit that I'm rusty because I haven't had to do it in a long time. But the more you avoid it, the longer you're going to stay in a suck ass state just go ahead now just to keep this video on point we're going to give you Ed Ed has a company Ed has a job but Ed wants to leave his company and you know he, Ed wants to leave his job and work for his company that's the dream I don't want for man you're going to be better off working for the man until you become the man and what I mean by that is if you can stick it out with your job while you build your asset and come out of your job when your job is costing you money because you're not there at the business and I will say that's the only time you should leave your job voluntarily you know you get laid off or you may have a situation where they're offering everybody a package or something okay it makes sense to leave but if neither one of those events happen, you get laid off, you get offered a package, you should stay at your job until that job is costing you money from your business. That's the only time that you will leave. Now with that said, you have a job to support you, yours, and bills and children and the important stuff. Okay? 
you keep that job because that job's money is to fund your lifestyle. Are you with me? All right. Then you get this business and as soon as you can possibly have cash flow to hire someone, that's when you do it. We made our first hire in the storage auction business in the second year. Looking back, I should have hired somebody probably, okay. I should have hired somebody, that was crazy. I should have hired somebody, yeah, you are stupid. I should have hired somebody the second month or the third month. But see, once again, I was a little shell-shocked. But hiring somebody, you don't know there's a cop up here, so you go ahead. Uh, hiring somebody is really important and a big part of scaling up your business, of building something durable. Now, this is scary because you want to leave your job, Ed. You want to get out, but you you look you're being very short-sighted. Now, going back to the second year, we hired people, we got folks on, it immediately lightened up the load, and we were able to make more money because we were able to leverage time. Because instead of two people doing tasks, there was three up to twelve people doing tasks. Employees buy you more time that you cannot buy any other way. Well, maybe automation. Automation is like a digital employee or a mechanical employee. Same thing. But you want to get in the habit of leveraging your time as soon as possible. This is what happens to a lot of solopreneurs. They don't hire anyone. They don't want to go through it. They build their business and they get stuck. They become trapped in this job that they created for themselves. They, they have customers who want them to only do their business. They, they can't take a vacation or the minute that they stop working, the money stops. They're building traps and it looks good and it feels good because there's a level of emancipation. But as we are going through this business, or should I say this job creation, this one job creation, it can lead to burnout, disillusionment, disenfranchise, dis being disenfranchised, uh, just a lot of bad things. Now, you gotta hire someone. So your first thing, I don't care if it's a, you make uh, jewelry on the side or you make cupcakes, the sooner that you hire someone and learn how to hire and learn how to teach SOPs and protocols, the stronger and more powerful your business will be. As long as you keep doing it, you, as you, 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 and you, you think that you're saving money by not spending money when you're really spending time, which is more important than money, you are behind. And, you know, I will show you when I make that hire because you know, if you're watching this video, you'll know that there's a deal that's going on that the folks who are going to go through the Income Sandbox and Hustlers Kung Fu Dojo, they're going to get an account manager. Now, this is one of the lessons I learned from being a digital dude. Everyone wants to make money online. Nobody wants to talk to anyone. People are sick and tired of that. And people will pay a premium to talk to a real person. They'll pay a premium to have someone pick up the phone and call them back. Yes, they will. And that's what I'm going to give. But that's going to be the reason that I'm hiring because I already know where the pain points are. I already know where the stop gaps are. I already know what will make a greater customer user experience for my products and services. And that's why I have to hire now because I'll tell you, I wasn't ever going to get back to this position because I was in a different spot. I was not ever thinking of doing this stuff again but life changed and I got a brand new bag so to speak so I decided to get back into it and to make it happen and to build an agency so that's one of the things but you know 2009 2012 I was just going to do this passive income game because it was so fun and to a point effortless 
but that's another video but you gotta hire now how do you hire somebody first of all you mentally have to commit to the process many people run from it don't want to do it don't want to deal the money is in solving problems now when you hire someone you solve your problem and you solve their problem you need someone to do X amount of tasks they need someone to pay them some money one hand washes the other so money is in solving problems the more people you hire the more problems you solve the more problems you solve the more money that you make it's a very simple equation that many people are caught up into with the internet world now I'm gonna throw a name out here and a lot of people look at him as just social media only but I tend to look deeper deeper take Gary V Gary V has wine library right and now he has uh, Vayner media right now whenever he does his videos and stuff what do you see in the backdrop virtually every video when he's going through his business process you see a bunch of fucking employees wine library walks in he hasn't been there a while there's all of these folks employees managers you cannot scale without them there's a few brilliant people who will create us some amazing software and they'll be able to run a billion dollar or multi-billion dollar company with 50 people snapchat uh, so for 19 billion I think they had a head count of 55 mostly programmers right that's gonna happen some more but for you if your name is Alan Average you're gonna be able to start a business wherever you are locally scale it up hire some employees make some money much faster than you're gonna be able to scale online because everyone's running to online and everyone's trying to crush the portal online and they're leaving all kind of money available out here now, when I was growing up, there was a term called zig and zag. So when they zig, you zag. And when they zag, you zig. And that's what he did. And that's what I'm doing. And that's what some other people are doing. Because you, by creating a real business, and when I say real, digital business is real cash. But a real business where you have employees, perhaps an office, home office, where there's processes and things. You can scale that so much faster, but it's, you know, since it's incumbent upon organic capital, it's gonna to top out pretty quick. But the deal is, what I'm trying to teach you is if you do that, you can build something that will provide you living income faster while you work on your online dreams. Does that make any sense? Because I'll say it until the cows come home. It's gonna take you six months to roughly three years to build a online source of income that's consistent and durable. That's what it's gonna be. And that may stretch out even longer as more and more people jump online and try to smash and crush all of the low hanging fruit or all of the popular topics, or all the popular niche, all of that stuff. So you definitely gotta get yourself in a hiring mindset. So let's talk about numbers. Let's say your business makes 500 bucks a month. And in your mind, you're going, well, that's not enough money to hire someone. And in my mind, I'm like, you're wrong. It's plenty of money to hire someone part-time. Because as you go through that part-time hiring process, it's going to be very similar to the full-time hiring process. You got to put up an ad. You got to get referrals. You got to check resumes, check background. Pretty much, you got to do the same thing for a part-time employee as you have to do for a full-time employee. So the only difference is you pay the full-time employee more money. But everything else is the same. So 500 bucks, just like hire them like two, a day a week or two days a week, pay them 250 a month, and get that experience and that training. Plus, you're going to take some stuff off of your shoulders. Now, there are many people who talk about employees and stuff, and I, I've been guilty of that. And typically... Once you learn how to hire well, because I do remember a period where I was able to hire really well, and I really didn't mind employees. Just didn't. But when you're hiring bad and you're making mistakes, it sucks. It really does. But like you, I'm about to go through it again. I already know that I may have to make two or three hires to get the person I want. So I'm willing to go through those gyrations because the asset, the business dictates it and is worth it. Even if it's a $500 a month business, 
it is still worth you hiring someone to train yourself not to become the me copa. Me, 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 it's about me. No one can do it as good as, that's a trap. If you find yourself saying, well, you know, you just can't find good help, replace that with, I don't know how to train people. It's just so hard, well, I don't really put my effort into it. Start putting the onus back on you to go out and get yourself some people. Because once you get people, your business is going to explode if you continue to push. You might spend a year where you know your employees literally are making more money than you are, but they're building this asset that's gonna make you a ton of money that they don't get to partake in unless you wanna give out some generous bonuses. This is very, very heady stuff. So even if you got a part-time business, a small business, you need to get into the hiring and training mode as soon as possible. It's just what you need to do. It's just relevant to where we are now because the people who continue to automate, and I'll be real, automating your business works, automating and not having to need employees works, but the thing is, as a person who's been a digital marketer for eight years, it's going to change and you will have something that's going to be working great and the money's going to be coming in and something's going to happen and then you'll see your income cut in half. You might even see your income shut off and you're going to have to do something. Whereas if you have a durable business, then you're just going to be in a much better situation in terms of managing and running your business because seriously, very few people want to do that today because it's so hard, because it's such a challenge. And if you do that stuff, then you can really, really make a lot of money. Really? Okay. <laughs> I tell you, the road today is kinda interesting. Very, very interesting. But as you build your business, you're building something bigger than you. And the sooner that you realize that and start to push on that, the sooner your life is going to change. So with that, that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, like, subscribe, leave a comment. And for those of you who are paying attention, there's going to be a link below. It's going to say account executive and for everyone that signs up starting in May you're gonna get your own account executive to call you up check on your process and help you along with the courses and stuff so that's what's gonna happen if you sign up now just let